Hey guys, it's Vianel. Welcome back to Pokemon Blue. In the last part, we beat Erica, and then we lost a lot of money. I managed to get up to 3,300 coins, and I couldn't seem to really get any more, so... I'm giving in. I'm going to buy the rest of the coins. And now I'm going to be here for a bit, because unfortunately, there's no easy way to do this. You know, I greatly appreciate the later generations of Pokemon for adding a button that allows you to buy 500 coins at once. Because, goodness, I needed that right now. <laughs> and now my thumb's sore for pressing the A button so much. Well, now I have, like, no money. <laughs> Glad I didn't buy anything. Anyway, we're gonna head over to the, uh, to the gift shop just before we, uh... Just before we, uh, continue on. Uh, mainly because... We're gonna buy a pincer, and yes, I do. I will call him Grabo, and he's gonna go to the Pokemon box. And the other thing I'm doing is that I'm gonna buy Dratini. So that, that's why I needed that many coins. And unfortunately, it takes so much time to get all this stuff. Um, so yeah, I will call him... I will call him... Uh, I don't know what to call him. I shall call him... I shall call him Moopy. <laughs> Moopy. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> this, is, this is so weird. Okay, so I've got Speed V, Speed V, Bubba, <laughs> Moopy, and Grabo. <laughs> so, someone's gonna hate my naming system. Now, I, I gotta go to my box. I actually should have. Well, I mean, yeah. So now we're gonna actually use the boxes for once. Now, I can't withdraw any Pokemon. However, I can put away Bugaboom. Bye, Bugaboom. And I'm going to put away Shruder for now. Uh, personally, I'm actually going to put away a bikini because I'm not going to need... Um, I'm not going to need them right now. By the way, these guys are decent levels. These guys are very, very nice levels. Uh, so yeah, I might need... Uh, I might need... Oh, I, I, I'm a little bit hesitant of keeping Birdo out, actually. I, I, I'm gonna keep Birdo, but I'm not gonna specifically name him. Anyway, this is the perfect opportunity to start leveling up some of the new members on my team. The only person... Uh, Ducks and Birdo will not stay on the team. Specifically Ducks, but... <laughs> uh, definitely not... Not, um... Not Ducks and probably not Birdo. I mean, Birdo's so high-leveled right now. Uh, now, there is one thing... You notice how people are saying we shouldn't push the button? I don't know. Anyway, if you talk to this guy up here, he's got this poster. What? <laughs> and this guy will fight you. So basically, yeah. Now we're gonna we're gonna actually get into battle with our new pincer. Go, Grabo! <laughs> and this is this is kinda like now Grabo only knows Vice Grip, which is a bit of a pain. Uh Vice Grip is a pretty good attack, though. It's not, it's not the best, but hey, what? It's, it's pretty good for now. I'll tell you that. Like, if it took out his Raticate, pretty easy. He's got a Zubat. Well, Zubat's got less defense, so I guess, I guess that's okay. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna look up his moveset, just because I need, I need to know, like, what he learns. Uh, he does learn, uh, some pretty good moves around in the 30s. So, he will learn uh, better moves as he goes along. Vice Grip does 55 power, and it's a normal type attack. By the way, um, Pinsa, even though he's bug type, he doesn't learn any bug moves. I better go tell our boss as I walk around you. What? <laughs> There's nothing over there. Look at this poster. It's a switch! Anyway, if you head over here... Oh my goodness! 
Anyway, welcome to the rocket hideout. Blah, blah, blah. Welcome to the rocket hideout, aka a kind of confusing place. Uh, but it's basically, who are you? How did you get here? It's basically, yeah, train up for the gym if you're not strong enough. Except, yeah, about that. You know what's one of the worst part? I, I wasn't even doing like any off-screen training. That was all. That was all just like training like about three Pokemon. Uh, Vice Grip. Yeah, Gravos. Uh, I mean, Gravos gonna do okay. But it's just like. Ooh, sweet. Gravos gonna do okay. It's just like. He's a bit weak right now. He's only level 20. And unfortunately, a lot of. Like, even Dratini. Dratini is level 24, and Eevee is level 25 uh, when you get them. And I think that's kind of that's kind of odd. Why would they would do that? Uh, I feel like I may be stuffed. Uh, by the way, um, oh, that's that is nice. Yeah, the critical hits. Now, Pinsa, I I didn't actually talk about talk about uh, Pinsa and um, Dratini before. Um, and, and Porygon, for that matter. I should probably talk talk about them. Uh, Pinsa has some really good attack. And his defense stat is really good, and he does learn some very good moves as he levels up. Um, he doesn't really learn any bug type moves, that is a problem. Uh, and also, he doesn't evolve, but he is very strong, and especially for this point in the game, he ends up being like the best bug type Pokemon in the game. I think tied with Scyther. However, Scyther is a, is a Pokemon Red exclusive. Scyther is kind of in the same wings, except Scyther is more a special type uh, and a speedy type. Um, so yeah, you can only get Scyther in, uh, red though. And a lot of people prefer Scyther, because Pinsler doesn't actually have a another evolution in the next generation. Whereas Scyther does, Scyther will evol evolve into Caesar. But, Pinsler is still a pretty good choice. I, I would recommend Pinsler, and he's going to be one of the members on my team. Uh, Dratini... Oh gosh, Dratini! Uh, he ends up being probably the best Pokemon in the game that's not a Legendary. I'm not going to use Legendaries on my team, even though you can catch the three Legendary Birds. Okay, Grabo survived this. Yes! Good on you, Grabo. Grabo has such good defense. And his, his attack is really good as well. Uh, now he's going to say another Raticate. I'm not going to I'm not gonna do it. Uh, we'll go with Moopy. Moopy. Uh, so yeah. Um... So yeah, so Dratini also learns some really good moves, and he is Dragon type, which basically means Fire, Water, Grass, and Electric are all weak to him. The only thing that's strong against him is Dragon type, and fortunately, you won't find a few of them at uh, at this point in the game. He doesn't really know any good moves, though, so I'll tell you that. Rap, that's the best I've got. Uh, Dratini is also a little bit weak uh, when you initially get him. Uh, I'll tell you that. Um, because he is gonna, yeah, l look at Hyper Fang. Oh, f gosh sake! Okay, well, to, uh, Speed V. Now, I am gonna be healing up kind of a bit, because, I, yeah. Uh, Eevee is still a good choice. He only knows Tackle, which is a bit of a shame, but... Uh, I will evolve him as... Like at about level 35, because I can freely evolve e Eevee whenever I want. Um, Moopy. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Dratini also, yeah, he's a little bit weak now. The other problem is that he does evolve at level 40, which is a little bit late in the game. But then he evolves again at level 55, and that's kind of far away. That's a little bit like it's pushing it. Uh, I believe on one of these potted plants, you can get an item, I think? I don't know. Oh, there it is. Hey, it's PP up. Uh, the other thing, uh, the other Pokemon is Porygon. Porygon, uh, when I was talking about the signature moves, he learns Conversion, which basically com changes his type into a different type, and that that is a very nice move. He also learns a lot of great TMs throughout the game. Uh, the only problem is, uh, he doesn't really evolve, and also he's not that powerful. Even with the types, 
even 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 if he can change his type to someone else, uh, he, he's still a little bit weak. But eh, he's an interesting choice, and he's definitely great for like, tournaments. Uh, so we can't really do anything on this floor, so we're gonna head down even more. Um, let's see. I don't think there's any items hidden on this floor. There's kind of a few hidden items. I think there's three of them. But I think they're both on the floor below us. <laughs> is that is that a threat? So yeah. Um, so those three Pokemon in Celadon... In fact, Celadon is home to so many... Also, this guy has five Pokemon. Jeez. And they're level 17. Oh my goodness. So yeah, um, I will make this uh, section a, a two-parter though, it is actually very large. It's basically like twice as large as a rock tunnel. There's a lot of trainers, there's a... There's a lot of trainers, there's no wild Pokemon though. Um, like, well I guess there's not that many trainers, but there's puzzles, there's a lot of items to pick up, and it would make more sense for me to do it as a two-parter, uh, so... So yeah. Anyway, yeah, so both Dratini and Pinsa and Eevee and, uh... Ah! <laughs> and, uh, Bulbasaur or Venusaur are going to be on my team. I'm going to stop using Venusaur for a while because Venusaur is such high-leveled that, uh, he's pretty much set for a long time. He's only going to be weak by about, like, the sixth gym. Uh, so that gives us, like, two gyms. Actually, it's not going to be... He is... He... Yeah... The problem with Venusaur, by the way, um, is that, or with uh, choosing Bulbasaur, is that uh, at the beginning of the game he will completely devastate Brock, he will devastate Misty. Uh, he's fine against Lieutenant Surge, and he's also fine against uh, Erika. The next three gyms are just kind of like, oh no. Oh gosh. Speed V, no! I should call him Stevie, but no. I don't know. Speed V! No! Speed V, you fool! He's leeching your life! Ah, stuff it. Ah, uh, Bubba, go out. <laughs> I just realized Venusaur's back, back sprite just looks like a mix between a cauliflower and a lettuce. Ah, oh, come on. So, yeah, um. Can, yeah, thank you. So yeah, um... But yeah, with uh, Dragon-type, I think actually Dragon is also weak, weak to Ice-type, and that's a little bit of a problem only at the end of the game. But basically, that means that nothing is super effective against Dragon-type, or at least in the early parts of the game. This guy has so many Pokémon, it's ridiculous! Uh, so yeah. Uh, the other thing is that Dragon-type isn't actually strong against or isn't actually weak to any types. It's not strong against any types, and in fact the only attacking dragon type move is Dragon Rage, really. Uh, but... And, you know, it's Dragon Rage. It does a set HP damage. Why does it need to be strong against anything? Um, but perfectly honest, it is... I, thi I think he is a pretty good Pokemon, uh, Dratini. So anyway... He surrenders. Uh, I'm gonna back out and I'm gonna heal, and then I'll be right back. And we're back. Uh, now here's a... I wouldn't say it's a new concept, but it's brought back a couple of times. You stand on one of these... spinny things... And... You can't stop until you hit one of those square tiles. Which basically means you're gonna be standing for a while. Or you're gonna be doing nothing for a while. Now, there are a lot of items you can get here. It's ridiculous how many items you can get. So, firstly, here's a nugget. It's faster to just do this. <laughs> uh, let's see. There's a moonstone here. There are a lot of moonstones. I don't think you can buy moonstones, though, in the game. There's plenty to find, but... Oh, this is TMO7. If I look it up... Uh, TMO7 is Horn Drill. Um, it's really good. Like, really good. Actually, isn't Horn Drill the one that's a one-hit KO move? Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't think it is. Um, I don't know whether... You, I don't think you should go up. I shall go this way. I know up is not the right way. Let's see, this one will go down. I don't really know if there's any other, like, items to get, really. I, I think there's actually one in the bottom left area. Th there's no hit. Don't worry about that. Uh, also, yeah, just kind of, like, learn the layout a little bit, but, yeah, like, nothing overlaps, so... Just think about it like that. Okay, so I think that's all the items that you can get on this floor. Oh, dang it, I went the wrong way! No! 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 Uh, do I go left? Yes. It's such a, it's very odd music, I'll tell you that. Actually, I should probably put a Grabo out front. Grabo! Eevee is actually kind of fast, I'll tell you that. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to get into this area, because uh, that allows you to exit the place. No, it allows you to go upstairs, and then... Allow you know what, one thing I find kind of weird? If you're going upstairs, you can't seem to go back downstairs. It's oh, so it, it dumps you off the space? Where did you come here? I mean, why did you come here? Yeah, it kind of dumps you off the space, which is kind of weird. Uh, anyway, here's another rocket. Team Rocket. He has a Rattata. I, I didn't see how many Pokemon he had, but I, I assume it's four, because that's the only Rattata I have on this floor. <laughs> oh, gosh. Grabo, go. Whoa! Grabo, jeez. I mean, then again, he has Hyper Fang. Like, yeah, that's Hyper Fang. Hyper Fang is such a strong move. Vice Grip's pretty strong as well, I guess. Grabo! <laughs> now, yeah, it's Eradicate, so... Eradicate! I do like that name. Oh no, it's the Hyper Fang, because what else are they going to use? <laughs> That's what they do, they'll just use like a quick attack to finish you off. It's ridiculous. So when did Stratini like learn a uh, new move? Because for some odd reason, yeah, for some odd reason when you get him, he doesn't know anything at all. Uh, let's switch out to... I also brought out a bikini while, while I was out. Um instead of uh, ducks, because I thought I thought a bikini, the teleport would be more handy. Like, there's no trees in here, so... Rap! Rap! Rap him! So, yeah. Rap! Rap! So yeah, Moopy won't learn another attack until level 30, which is a bit of a... It's a bit of a pain trying to leveling him up, and he do, he, all he knows is rap. Ah, stuff. I think maybe I should just have him out the front and send him out before each Pokemon. But the problem is, like, uh, Grabo is really weak right now, so... Come on, come on, Speed V! He's using Tail Whip, not Sand Attack. You have Sand Attack. Yeah, of course, Gravo, Gravo's really good, but he's like five levels weaker than everyone. So it's a Rattata, okay. So I'm gonna send out... I'm gonna send out uh, Moopy, and we're gonna see how Moopy deals against a Rattata that's five levels less than him. Okay. So we're gonna use Thunder Wave. He's slower, it's kind of ridiculous. There you go. Thunder Wave's good. So he's paralyzed, that's good. Now we'll use Rap. Also, Paralyze seems to slow you down. It's kind of interesting. Uh, actually, the burn status effect halves your current attack in calculations. And it's painful trying to do this without attacks. Also, Rap. It feels good to be on the other side of using Rap. Ah, uh, he's paralyzed, come on. Alright, well, we killed him. Moopy did something. Yay for Moopy! Also, Moopy takes forever to level up. 
He does. It's ridiculous. Uh, so yeah. There's a hyper potion here, if you want that. There's also another rocket guy here. Intruder alert! What? Oh, uh, this, this was the guy I was thinking of. This was the other guy. Other than that, though, that's the first floor, so... Do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Well, I guess there's a little bit left of the first floor, but other than that... Ah! No! What will I do? I... Oh, snap, I'm using Struggle. Struggle's an interesting attack, by the way, guys. Uh, it, uh... It basically, uh... It's, it's a decent attack. It does like 55 damage or something, uh, but it hits you with recoil. Moves like takedown also do that, and you can only use it if you are out of attacks. That was very interesting how he used the Sable and now I ha and then I had like nothing to hit him with. Uh, Moopy! Go Moopy! Moopy! Uh, wrap him! Wrap! Wrap! <laughs> Rap, it's just like, why? He has so much defense coughing as well. See, yeah. Oh. This means more rap. No. No. Moopy, no. Why can't I hit him? I can't hit him no more. There you go. Wrap him up. With your tail? I don't know. Dratini's like so small. Oh, still going with Rap. That's what I love. If you're faster, you can actually prevent him from ever attacking. It's it's ridiculous, Rap. I mean, I mean, yeah, like I want. I, oh no, no! But I'm right there. No. Well, at least I got him. <laughs> He's gonna die right after, but. Uh, so he's going on coughing. Uh, Speed V. Go, Speed V. <laughs> that's, a, that's the sound it makes. Tackle. Oh, wait, no. That wasn't my tackle. Tackle again. Smog. Go. Yeah. I can't believe I got two poison Pokemon. That's just like, why? Why does this game do this to me? Well, we got him. And now two of my Pokemon are gonna die as soon as I step outside. Uh, anyway, I think that'll be it for a part. Uh, I'm gonna... By the way, now you can see what poison looks like. That's what it looks like. Every time it flashes, that's one HP going away, which means Tratini's gonna die as soon as I step here. Moopy, no! And that also does mean that, thankfully, it doesn't happen here, but that also means that uh, Speed V's gonna die as soon as I go around here. Well, anyway, with that, I'll see you guys next time on Pokemon Blue, where we'll continue with the Rocket Hideout. See you, then. Dun 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 d